The 865 5G mobile platform. Okay, the 865 is based on the X55 modem that we announced previously. It is a truly global solution. Again, supporting millimeter wave, sub six, SA, NSA, DSS, carrier aggregation, multiple different frequency bands are supported. And with the capability of having a modem RF system solution, we can create many features like 5G power save, signal boost, smart transmit, envelope tracking. Why, why produce such features? Why put together these complexities? Because the consumer deserves to have better signal in more places, to have call, calling clarity, to have throughput capability that's second to none. They deserve the experience. Again, we tackle complexities and we resolve them for the betterment of the consumer. And this modem RF system solution, the transceiver and the front end is exactly the same as the X52 on the 765 integrated solution. So once you design an 865, you can reuse all of that work. Our OEM partners can reuse all of that work for the 765 as well. Exactly the same transceiver and RF front end to create all of those features and functions for the betterment of the consumer. So just to show how global this solution is, our close partner in us, ZTE Infrastructure, we made the first standalone data call in China with them before anyone else did. And on top of that, we're not just great partners with ZTE Infrastructure, we're also great partners with ZTE Mobile. So please look for their Axion phones based on the 865 and 765 in the first half of 2020. Great partnership with them. We're introducing our fifth generation AI engine. It's capable of doing 15 tops, 2x better than the 855 platform that we introduced last year. Not very many people know this, but Qualcomm has been investing in AI and making it perfect for mobile applications and adjacent market applications for the past 10 years. So our fifth generation engine using 15 tops, 2x better than 855, and up to 3x better than all of our competitors. So from an AI performance perspective, all the applications that pertain to it are going to perform better. Great photography, great assistance, real-time translation. All of those will apply with this type of capability integrated into the device. The camera, again, the camera is so important for the consumer. They buy a camera phone. This is the world's first two gigapixel per second camera capable ISP. What that means is we can capture 8K video at 30 frames per second. 8K video never done before at 30 frames per second. And if you're running 4K video, each frame can be captured at 64 megap megapixels. How cool is that? Let's say you capture a video of 4K, you can go to each frame and capture it at a very high resolution of 64 megapixels. On top of that, we're capable of supporting up to a 200 megapixel camera. So you're going to get excellent photos, great, great video capability built into this device. And with the AI features, you're just going to have a much better experience and the consumer is going to capture much better pictures than ever before. Again, we tackle all these complexities for the betterment of the consumer. We have a 25% increase in performance on our graphics score in the 865 versus the 855. And we're pushing elite gaming capability to its limits. And now we're bringing in desktop features into mobile gaming. Why? Because if you remember last year, what we said was mobile gaming is the largest revenue making segment of all gaming put together. And it's ever increasing. So bringing in features and capabilities and desktop capabilities into a mobile platform will again help the consumer have a much better experience. 
By the way, I, I, I remember last year I was, telling, I, was, I was telling this crowd that our competitors should start taking notes on the second day because of all the details. They should start taking notes today and detailed notes tomorrow. So, uh, if you take a look at the overall performance of the Snapdragon 865, in all of these categories, we're number one. If you take a look at the CPU and GPU sustained performance, People play games not just for one minute or, or 10 seconds, they play games for like 30 minutes. So the sustained performance is very important. Sustained performance of the CPU and GPU, number one. AI capability and tops, number one. RF completeness and subsystem capability, number one. Modem capability at 7.5 gigabits per second for the X55, number one. Camera capability, two gigapixels per second, number one. Undoubtedly, we are the number one in all of these categories.